can't deny it. I won't deny it. I love the sea. Although I was born and grew up in land, our holidays, when I was a small boy, encompassed visits to the seaside. And, whilst as a sailor I like a smooth, calm sea, as a spectator and a photographer it's wonderful when it's rough. This visit to the RSPB Reserve at Pagham Harbour took place the day after Storm Eunice, which brought winds of over 100 miles an hour and caused considerable damage, disruption and, very sad to say, a few fatalities. There was still a strong breeze the following morning and the sea was well churned up. As I walked along the beach, I came to the narrow entrance to Pagham Harbour where a variety of seabirds were taking advantage of what the incoming tide might offer. Inside the harbour mouth, the waters open up across the mud banks and marshes, home to a number of different species. I think that as a photographer and a bird watcher, the best time to visit is when the tide is low, opening up the mud flats to allow the birds to feed, particularly when we are further into the harbour where the reserve offers a number of pathways and viewing spots. During this visit, I saw several black-headed gulls, moorhens, coot, several species of duck and redshank, also an egret and an oyster catcher. At low tide, these narrow channels fan out all around the harbour, rather like branches on a tree, and they're usually full of birds. The big feet on this moorhen allow it to run across the glutinous mud. A little further away, a number of red shank are also scouring the mud for food. I moved on along the pathway beside the marches and spotted an egret in one of the channels. I set up the camera and grabbed some footage of it feeding. It was fascinating to watch the egret shuffle its feet in the mud to stir up potential food. I took quite a bit of video footage as it was steadily made its way toward me. As the egret got closer and closer, I was able to see how it grabbed its prey and then washed it in the water before gulping it down. Frustratingly, a group of dog walkers came along the path right behind me and the egret was off. After the dog walkers moved off, the next bird to appear in my lens was this oyster catcher. Initially quite a distance from me, but I was delighted when it took to the air and landed much closer.
Like the egret, the oyster catcher was hunting food, and when it found some, it too took it to the water to clean before swallowing. Moving on, I spotted some widgeon, a coot, and some red shank quite a long way off. I then returned to the beach and the seaward side of the reserve where I spotted a group of Brent geese down on the waterfront. The morning had started breezy but sunny and very pleasant. However, as the morning wore on the skies grew darker and leaden. I felt the first spots of rain and decided it was time to head back to the car. Not a moment too soon as by the time I reached the car park the heavens opened. It was time to pack up and head home. I'd like to close this video with a selection of still images taken that morning. Well, many thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, I really would appreciate it if you gave it a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, please tick the bell to get notifications of future videos as they are released. Thanks again, and until the next time, stay safe. Thank you.